what's the big deal about social media? <laughs> Uh, so I'll tell you why I joined LinkedIn or why I think social media is very hard for you know from my perspective. Uh, so the third leg of my my sort of moral compass, if you will, a moral stool, is impact. And uh, at Google, I saw firsthand uh, what kind of impact you can have on <coughs> hundreds of millions or even billions of people, right? Uh, because Google fundamentally democratized access to information. Now, 20 years ago, when I was researching what I wanted to do after graduation, I had no way to figure those things out. You know, you lived in a place like Bombay, there were no public libraries, uh, you didn't have a lot of information, uh, the internet wasn't quite accessible to everyone. Uh, I remember I used to come uh, visit with friends here in Hawaii, and then we would go go talk to a friendly professor who had access to an email in order to you know email someone overseas. It was very hard. Google's changed that, right? Today, anyone here can just log on to a terminal, you get any information you want. But once you figured out what you want to know, uh, who you know becomes equally important. So let's say you want to uh, you know, build the next hot startup in space X. The next thing you need is access to uh, venture capital. You know, there's some of it in India, but there, there isn't that much. Now, your counterpart sitting in Stanford University, you know, exactly in these seats, uh, they have that idea, they can walk, literally, they can walk across uh, the street on Sand Hill Road and they can pitch to some of the best venture capitalists in the world because it is who they know, right? They have access, their professors have access. Uh, LinkedIn and social media in general democratizes access. It's a platform to provide anyone, any talented individual, anywhere in the world, it connects them to the opportunities that they see. To me, that's fundamentally a huge game changer, and that makes an impact on human lives everywhere in the world. So, you know, many of us are privileged that we are getting this opportunity to change people's lives, impact it in a positive way, not once but twice in our lifetimes. Uh, that's why I am at LinkedIn. That's why I think social media is very hard. Of course, you know, there are all sorts of other. Uh, great statistics which also make it very alluring uh, from a material standpoint, which is, you know, the growth rates. Like in India, we are growing substantially. We, uh, we were two and a half million uh, two months ago. We are now, you know, almost approaching three million members, 30 lakh members. Here, worldwide, we have 48 million members, so approaching, you know, half a crore. So the numbers are huge. Uh, everyone's talking about it. It's a very glamorous business to be in right now. And people use it a lot. So think of it as a career management tool. If you are, you know, how many of you did internships? Yeah, a lot of you. Uh, how many of you have LinkedIn profiles? Many of you. Are your internships all reflected in there? See, fewer hands, right? Those are the kinds of things. So as, as an individual, as a professional, there are three things we, we do every day, okay? We create, we connect, we collaborate. So let me expand on that. You create a professional identity every day, everything you do. Every research paper you've written or term paper you've written in your class, every seminar that you've given, every internship you've done, every interaction, you know, every intercollegiate competition you've won, every pan IIT athletic competition you've won, every mood eye uh, event that you've uh, participated in and done well in, all these things are facets of your personal brand. You need to be able to capture that personal brand because if you go and put your name in on one of your favorite search engines, mine happens to start with the letter G, uh, you know, you will see that the first three to five results, it's going to be your LinkedIn profile. So you need you need to make sure that you're creating your personal brand on a daily basis because that's what people use when they're looking at you and looking to hire you, looking to work with you. Uh, there's so many examples of people now there. Uh, you know, I have a good friend uh, who's an entrepreneur here in Bombay, and he said he recently sh moved his offices, and he was buying furniture and whatnot. And, you know, these transactions can be tricky. You give some guy money, they disappear, they don't show up, whatever. Everything he bought, he said, I use LinkedIn. I'm like, how do you use LinkedIn to buy and sell stuff, right? That's sort of interesting and innovative. And he said, I looked up the person. And when I called the person, I say, hey, I, I think that you and I both know so and so. The moment you say that, that guy you know, has a lesser degree uh, motivation to swindle you. Or because you're like, oh, you know, I can't disappear tomorrow. There's somebody here in common. A very small example. But the thing is, people are using uh, this as a way to suss out people and as a way to validate who they are talking to, etc. So that's your personal brand. That's creating. That's the first step. Okay? All of you should be doing it if you're not done it already. The second is connections. 
and you know not just connecting within yourself which is a great thing but connect with the people your supervisor that you intern with connect with your colleagues from those companies that you work with connect with visiting professors with visiting scholars your professors who are incredibly connected by the way i mean iit professors uh, you know extremely valuable brand to have out there because that's your network you know connect with your uh, parents friends uh, because you're not going to put up pictures from your Friday night parties there, right? They, they can see what you're doing. Uh, because they'll enable you uh, and give you uh, access into opportunities that you wouldn't have known otherwise uh, when you're researching things, etc. You know, many people do the second part. And I'm remiss. Uh, we need to connect. So we, I, I'll make sure that I'm a better guy over this last half an hour. <laughs> yes, absolutely. You haven't given me a lot of grief yet. Uh, <laughs> The third part, though, I, I think is also very interesting uh, and many people miss, but that is one of the most crucial parts of career management, uh, which is collaboration. And collaboration is a very heavy word, but it could be something as simple as someone getting a job and you send, shooting them off a congratulations note. It could be as simple as, uh, you know, our, our friend here who wants to start a company but doesn't have, uh, maybe has an idea but doesn't quite know a lot about it and does some research, but who could go find somebody uh, who who is an expert in that field and say, hey, you know, I have a couple of questions. Would you mind having an email conversation or could you take a quick 15 minutes phone call? It happens all the time. Go into the IIT alumni group on LinkedIn and you'll find so many people who are uh, so sharp. As part of my due diligence when I was uh, joining LinkedIn, uh, one thing that I saw that really, you know, sealed the deal for me, I was part of the Harvard China group because of my affiliations with uh, both those entities. And someone was starting a magazine a Chinese entrepreneur was wanted to start a magazine that was focused at businessmen who were non-Chinese who wanted to do business in China, which was a big deal, right? Uh, and so he posted a draft of what that magazine would look like on the Harvard China group. Within five days, he got five quality responses. One of them was from the chief editor of the uh, of a major magazine in the U.S. One of them was from a linguist, and you know such other. Uh, smart people and they effectively gave him something to the tune of a hundred thousand dollars my estimate was a free consultant okay because they critiqued it you know the magazine editor said well you know these are the kinds of things you should worry about this is when you should launch these are all the you know so from the standpoint of uh, how you run magazine the linguist actually gave some very interesting insights i learned a bunch from it too saying what is the tone <coughs> you should use you know the tone of the conversation the tone of the articles because you're writing for an audience that you're not very familiar with uh, all of that combined saved that person at least $100,000 and six months of his time within five days just because he collaborated. He didn't pay them money. He didn't even ask. You know, he just posted. He probably didn't even know what he was going to get out of it. That's the level of collaboration. The best time to network is when you don't need it. Okay. And network is not just about asking. It's also about giving. You may have skills. You may have knowledge. You may have expertise in things that you don't even know about. And that helps you build your brand. So if you create, connect, and collaborate, even at the standard age of 20, uh, you're going to be way ahead of the game. And that's the trick. In a, you know, in a world of 6 billion people, being ahead of the game is the trick.